that doesn't work. That doesn't work wearing the two hats. Do you think that's a real criticism, or do you think that that's people trying to get some cover for not wanting someone who's so, so liberal to be at the helm of the party? I think it's a little bit of both. I definitely think it is difficult when uh, you have a, a chair that is a sitting member of Congress or has any kind of other job because that's two sets of staff. I think Keith Ellison is great. I have worked with him. He is an amazing. He is a fighter. And he's committed to the issues. But Howard Dean? Howard Dean, you know, Howard Dean was there for that 50-state strategy. But here's the issue. Howard Dean is also on record maligning young people and millennials, telling those Bernie folks they just need to get in line, and maligning Bernie Sanders. And that is not what we need, in my opinion. We don't need white people leading the Democratic Party right now. The Democratic Party is diverse, and it should be reflected as so in our leadership and throughout the, the staff at the, top, at the highest levels, from the vice chairs to the secretaries, all the way down to the people working in the offices at the DNC. I think we need to have a robust discussion about this, and I think we need to hear more from all the candidates. Jamie Harrison in South Carolina, he's great too. He has done real party building, but everybody doesn't necessarily know Jamie, and they want to know what it is that he stands for. So yeah. I want to hear more from everybody. I'm here for the millennials and the brown folks.